Hi there, welcome to Santelmo's Windows System Administration Series. So this video will demonstrate how to install Windows Server 2019 on a VirtualBox virtualization software. So our objectives for this video is of course to install Windows Server 2019 on a VirtualBox virtualization software. And we are going to rename Windows Server 2019 to San Telmo S01. So this would be our first server that we will be configuring later on to be part of our Windows Server administration series. Alright? Alright, so let's start with the installation process. So let me fire up my virtual box here. Okay, so to create a new virtual machine, you have to click new all right so let's give it a name so from the objective the name here is santelmo s01 okay and the machine folder let's accept the default location which is on the virtual box vms okay and the operating system type is of course microsoft windows but if you're planning to install other uh, versions or varieties of operating systems, so you could go ahead and click your desired type. So for this one, we will be using Windows or Microsoft Windows. And the version, so we'll go ahead and look for the Windows Server 2019 64-bit. So if in case you don't have Windows Server 2019 there, so you could go ahead and choose other versions of windows or other windows so that would vary depending on 32-bit or 64-bit okay so for now just have to go ahead and click on windows 2019 64-bit right so click next here just accept the default memory size which is 2 gig go ahead and click next so create a virtual hard disk now okay click on create and then for the hard disk file type just accept the default setting which is a VDI or the virtual box disk image go ahead and click next okay so on the storage on physical hard drive or hard disk just have to choose the default value which is dynamically allocated and then hit next Okay, so just accept these default values again, all right, and then click on create. Okay, now that we have successfully created our first virtual machine named Santelmo S01, so let's go ahead and start this virtual machine. Okay, so you could either highlight the virtual machine and hit start here, or just simply double click the virtual machine. Okay. So we are starting up our virtual machine. Okay, so in here, you have to locate the installer. Okay, and the installer is of course on my downloads here. So I already have defined it. So let's just go ahead and click start here. So if in case you have to locate your installer on other location, just have to click here, right? Choose the virtual optical disk file and then click and choose your file there or the installer so I already have it so click on start here all right so we are starting the installation of our first virtual machine Windows Server 2019 so let's just remove this all right All right, so the first window here is the window setup, okay? So language to install, let's just accept the default value here, okay? Time and currency format, United States. All right, so click next here. Install now, okay? So it's very easy to install Windows operating system. So this would take some time to finish and let's wait all right so this installer supports three different versions of 
Windows Server 2019. So let me choose here the data center standard. All right? So data center standard and then click next. Okay? So you have to accept the license term. So if you have time to read it, please do read it. All right, and then hit next. Okay, so this is our first installation. So custom install windows. No need to partition here. Let's click next and proceed with the installation. All right, so very simple. Let's just wait for this installation process to finish. So again, this will take time. Right, so we're done with the installation. So this system will restart automatically. All right, so and then after it restarted, so it will continue the configuration. Okay. Alright, so it's time to enter the product key. Okay, so you can do this later. Alright. So the default username here is the administrator. Okay, so password, you can use your own password here. But for this one, let me use netman01 here. Alright, this is a strong password. It should be a strong password so every time you define password in a Windows server environment and of course on the client also it should be a strong password okay so when you say strong password it's a combination of uppercase lowercase okay special characters and so on so for this one let me just use netman01 here so netman01 all right so finish so finalizing the settings and we are good to go okay so let's just wait for some time to finalize the installation All right, so 100%, finally. Okay, so we have our Windows Server 2019 here running for the first time, all right? So let's try to log in. So press Control Alt Delete to unlock here. That could be found on Input Keyboard and then Control Alt Delete there, all right? So Administrator, our password is netman zero one 
right so after the installation so we are done with the first objective of this video which is to install Windows Server 2019 on our virtual box virtualization software successfully and the second objective is we have to rename the server in such a way that it will follow the convention of the organization so in this uh, video we are going to rename the server as San Telmo S01 right so let's check that okay okay so to check the server name or the computer name okay so you could go to for a while okay so let's wait for this server manager to finish loading all right so you've got your server manager dashboard here okay so let me close this okay so we are going to configure this later on on the next video so for now you just have to ensure that we have renamed this computer all right so let's go ahead and click on this folder here we need to go to my computer and we have to ensure okay right click on this pc here properties so you go to system properties and check the name right so um, if you're not paying attention to this by default your server will be using this series of uh, numbers and letters here okay so and we have to reach uh, we have to change the name by typing the new name so to do that so click on change settings and then to rename this computer so click change here all right so the name would be san telmo s01 right so for now on this video let's just rename it to san telmo s01 hit ok here all right so after that change you must restart your computer to apply these changes hit ok close restart now all right so that's it that's how easy to install windows server 2019 is so when it gets started so we're done all right so thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.